Alright guys, so The Wolf Among Us is a game that I've kind of been wanting to play for quite some time. Ever since the announcement of The Among Us Part 2, uh, I've been really wanting to dive into this game. As you guys may or may not already know, I'm a big fan of the Telltale, you know, style of storytelling. Ever since I started playing the first Telltale series here on the game, I've played now a few series here on the channel from both Batman games, the Telltale series of course, uh, I played the Game of Thrones one, and uh, you know, a little bit more and stuff like that, but I've really enjoyed the storytelling in the Telltale series style of games. And you know what? This one is going to be more of the same. I love these games and I'm really excited to dive into one of the more recognized uh, games from Telltale as far as their storytelling goes and that is The Wolf Among Us of course as you guys see right in front of you This is gonna be part one of the series. I'm super super excited to jump in to this gameplay guys If you guys are too, do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow So enough yapping from me man. I really want to jump into this gameplay. So let's go ahead and just do that The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who live who uh who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Though so, uh, through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigsby Wolf protects from each other. Okay, so I think that's the name of the main character. Five today again if you missed it. Uh, record for the date. Hottest ever in June. Uh, 103 now. That humidity looks low. Oh, that looks nice. The hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than say 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. I love the art style in these games too. <clears throat> if I already didn't mention that. So his name is Bigsby, right? The Wolf Among Us. I'm so, so excited for this, guys. You guys have no idea. There he is, the man himself. Whoa, what happened to his eyes? Tenement building sometime after midnight. Got a little Mustang in the back right there. Mr. Toad? <laughs> it's a frog. Big B. A toad, literally. Listen, mate. I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. Uh... No need to kick up a fuss. Should... I gotta be stir. Enough I've excuses. i heard enough of your excuses, Toad. This is unacceptable. If you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. What's the farm? You can't send me up to live with those animals. You know what I mean. Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? Uh... I'll stay quiet. It's not even really worth dwelling on at this point. You're telling me to get it together. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. <laughs> Fuck you now! What was that? See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he uh, completely tears up the place. Yeah, let's go, let's go upstairs. Did I Click in time. If I didn't mention this before, I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5, by the way. 
This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. Okay, yeah, I'm heading up. I guess I did. I missed it last time. Get your glamour. I actually, I thought I pushed it in time, but I didn't. New book of fables entry unlocked. Furry prick go shite. Tell me how to spend my money. Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take <laughs> you away? No. Literally. Then get that fuck back inside. God damn, bro, that's a little kid. I hear a phone. You're gonna know who I fucking am, you hear me? First things first, hey, let's check this out. In real life, you would have went straight to the door because that person's safety is potentially at risk. But this is an investigative game, I suppose. So let's check this out. I guess there's nothing else. I probably should have knocked down the door. Police, open up! God damn you! Oh my god, yep. No, whoa, whoa, now. whoa, hey, oh, hey! hey. You've got I would have done the same thing. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid girl? <clears throat> she just spit blood at him. I'll fucking kill uh, you! Everyone <clears throat> calm down. Alright, everyone. <clears throat> okay, well, never mind. Now I'm gonna beat his butt. What are you gonna fucking do, huh? <clears throat> Are we get the fuck out of the way before uh, you get threaten the axe him again? Woody, I'm gonna break your fucking face. They know each other. Is that a fact? Yeah, that's a fact. He looks like a lumberjack. You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. This isn't last time. Ah. <laughs> oh! Oh wait. Oh! I think I pushed the wrong button. Sit your butt down. Had enough? Oh snap! At least it's a fucking challenge. Oh god! All right, let's go. Oh, beat him up. Let's kick him in the nads. All right, you know what? You're going straight to the to the spring bed. I don't want to kill him either. You know what I mean? Oh, what are we doing? Ah, uh, ah! Uh. Oh, I definitely feels like he's trying to do that to me, though. Haha! <laughs> nice try, there, buddy. Did he just pick up a weapon? Oh, he's really trying to hurt me here. Hiya! Oh God! Oh! You're a fucking glutton for punishment. Fuck you. Okay, that's it. I guess you're going into the bookshelf this time. Back off, asshole. Did you just say back off or jack off? I don't know. I don't can't remember. I mean, I can't. I didn't hear it right. Oh, you're getting one to the dome. Oh! This reminds me of the Batman game. The tell the Batman Telltale. Oh, he's getting an axe. Ah. We're not trying to die here. Give it to me. Oh, I'm tapping. Oh, I almost messed that up. Oh. Oh, you're so screwed there, buddy. Oh, he's done skis. You should probably get out of here. Look, I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. He can barely even talk. Push you you shut ground. up. Shut up. <laughs> oh, fucking shit. You bogged my jaw, you bastard. And still you talk. He literally fuck started the fight. You. Uh. Shit. What happened? What the hell is going on? What happened? A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Little Lord, misunderstanding? You saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off. Mm. Look, this is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Look, are you alright? Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. 
Thanks for asking. She might be a prostitute. Uh, are, uh, are you hurt? Seriously, I need to know if you're okay. She looks he pretty asked beat up. Me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hun? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved little Red Riding Hood from this monster. Hey, I guess I was right. I he does look like a lumberjack. <laughs> and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch. Uh, will you excuse uh, me for a moment? Would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. I knocked myself out in the process. Where's the, where's the dude at? Did he die? Shit. There goes Mr. Toad. Hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh. Can I get you anything? How's your insurance? Hello, perhaps? <laughs> so, uh. How good is your insurance? I can't be mad at you. I called you, and you come to help. I can't be mad. But even when you help, things end up more fucked than they started. Well, at least you're not fucking dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Go away. We're gonna have to off him, aren't we? Come on. Oh no, oh no. I'm pushing as hard as I I mean as fast as I can. Oh come on. Oh god, oh god, oh god. This is not gonna work. I'm not gonna do this. Is someone gonna save me? I'm scared. Oh, he's turning into a wolf. Oh my god. Look at him. Well, that was a close one. How is he not dead? He's got an axe in his skull. Uh, what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's, <laughs> He's not feeling that. <laughs> How is he not dead? Let me help you. Uh. Stop her. He's had enough. He's a feeble. Son of a bitch can take plenty. So I guess they're... Immortal? <clears throat> oh, snap. Okay, so this story is extremely interesting. Uh, let me see. Let's give her a matchbook. Here. Thanks. Be the gentleman in the situation. What's gonna happen? Who do you work for, really? These lips are sealed. Uh oh. Sorry. Hey, you like my ribbon? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, beautiful dot dot dot. Beautiful. Oh, I thought it was gonna lead to Thank like you. beautiful, but so and so, whatever. I 
feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. I guess. What does that mean? <clears throat> is she uh is she the little red riding hood? Oh, he's already gone. Shit. Oh my god, his license plate was totally Stop. We don't have to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. This is Fable Town. It's not just about you. I can't have him running around the city in the state he's in. Good, because I was just starting to worry it was all about me. That's not what I mean. Um. How much was it he owed you? He's going to give it to her, isn't he? A hundred. I'm guessing bad for you to show up empty-handed I'll be fine I'll just give her some money let's see I've got uh, 20 47 8 58 so I got <laughs> uh, it'll help right take it it's okay I'll be fine you've done enough really just take the money Okay. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I... You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Good to know. You should get cleaned up. He look like shit. Yeah, he does. And I don't use that term lightly. Uh. Some of these look pretty bad. Okay. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. I'm kind of curious who she is. If they quote unquote previously okay. knew each other, at one point. I need to tell you something. What's up? What is it? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Oh, I get it, because he's the big bad wolf. I'll see you around. King Street? Wolf. Alright, hold on. I gotta push pause real quick, though. Because I gotta see if I can put on some subtitles. Audio and video, perhaps? Displays? Yes. And now let's go back. I think we chose a perfect time for that, too. <clears throat> I feel bad for Toad's car, though. We kind of sort of destroyed it, didn't we? Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to Fable Town. This definitely has like an 80s feel to it. This is so cool. I really do feel like I'm gonna enjoy this game a lot, actually. Granted, it's only been the intro, but... It seems pretty cool. Can I skip this? Uh, no, that just goes back here. Okay. I guess I can't skip it, so we have to sit through this. Let's see how long it is. Episode 1. Faith. Where are we now? Uh, the Woodland Luxury Apartments, Fable Town. Heh. <laughs> Time? Late. Okay, there's something potentially right here. Oh, wait, hold on. I want to look at this first. See what this says. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. I'm assuming it's not very luxurious? Oh, this is going to be so cool. Oh, what's this? State of the 
grass? Oh, stay off the grass. Be grass. Disciplinary. I feel like in the army we used to have this thing where the sergeant major would not like it if you stepped on the grass. And he would always say stay off the grass and stuff like that, right? That kind of reminds me of it for some reason. Is that the little red riding hood? Uh, stay off the grass. <laughs> There's no walking on the grass. No white's orders. She made a sign. And Snow White's orders. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Big B. So she's sleeping, Beauty. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a uh, little odd, but there's an explanation. Out pretty late. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with the third degree? Damn it, I'm late. What is she doing? Why? Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Yeah, she's the beauty. He worries oh, no, too much sleeps. as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. I just promise. Please. Sure. You promise? I promise. Thank you, Big B. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Wait, so she is with the beast, but she's Thank possibly you. cheating? For trusting me. Really, I I appreciate it, Big B. I don't know, that whole situation seemed a little off. But they seem like good friends, so... She owes the beast an explanation, though. Honestly, I kind of want an explanation. That whole situation was kind of weird. I probably should have asked some more... Intrusive questions. Of course. Of course he's asleep. Um... Okay, let's look at this first. Look at him, he's knocked out. Hey, you wink? Does it look like he's awake? Grimble? Uh, probably for the best. Okay. Let's look at this medieval knight Funny thing. She needs to dust this guy. <laughs> he's it's super dusty. Once he did that, it literally, uh, a bunch of, uh, dust flew off of it. Been a while since I got any mail. Bet you it's still nothing. Seventh day in a row. He hasn't gotten mail in a week? Mr. and Mrs. Beast? So they do live together then? So I guess it's not that off that... Hold on, let me see. Private, private, uh... Blue Horner Beard Coal Storage. Okay. Alright, well I guess there's nothing. I want to look around. It looks like there's nothing though, so... I guess let's take the elevator. I like that name, by the way. Mr. and Mrs. Beast. That's, that's actually... That sounds pretty cool. What's this? Bigby. Hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Oh, Have you seen Beauty? Uh... Haven't so, seen her. Have you? He looks no. worried, though. I haven't seen her. Oh. Okay. Sorry to bother you. Damn it. Something's going on. What? Okay, what is going on? I feel... I feel terrible for lying to him. Room 204. Big B's apartment. Fable Town. That name, by the way, is making me want to play Fable 3, which is, as of now, the last Fable game I need to play.
Got a nice little breeze. That water looks disgusting. It's gray and has like black spots in it. Oh, that's so gross. What a night indeed. Can I look at that note? Oh, that sucks. I guess we'll start here. Why do I even Puff puff. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, let's see. Freezer, open to see what you have in the freezer. Just a thing of cubes. It. And it's empty. You might as well fill it up. Is there nothing over here? Clearly there's not. Man, I love the art style in these in these games. What do we have here? Bluebeard's file. Who's Bluebeard? This guy. So I'm assuming we're gonna get a hint of who Bluebeard is here. later. Probably a bad sign. Or someone broke in. We'll take a look this at this. Still works. If it's a little warm, we should probably turn it on, right? Should help. Is someone snoring? Do I have a roommate? What in the world? <laughs> it's a pig. That's so awesome. Not again. Okay. Oh, hey, Big B. So I'm weird. Your chair, huh? Uh. Uh. Come on, I'm tired. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Oh, I thought I said come on, not Colin. Oops. <laughs> Does is he my roommate or something? Got a smoke? Nope. A smoking pig. Thanks. A couple thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. <laughs> this has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. So they're the not roommates. Fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, big boy. Uh... You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be dramatic. Come on. That's a little dramatic. I hope I didn't piss him off. me? Nope. <laughs> the house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but uh, <laughs> it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. Um, I just want some rest. That was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, I was just hungry. Murder. I was hungry. Yeah, well, I'm hungry now. You don't see me tearing the flesh off of your bones. But you would if you could. Probably. <laughs> but, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories, either. That's true. Look, I'm not saying it's fair, but it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd you yep. get in a fight with? A fable, right? A lumberjack. I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. It's my job. I was doing my job, believe it or not. Your job is to beat the shit out of fables? It Sometimes is if they're beating someone else. The farm. Fuck you. Damn. 
You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's <laughs> embarrassing. The big bad wolf. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Actually, no. Not everyone. Name one. Uh... I'm gonna say there was a girl. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Just because there's something up with beauty. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. Literally. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Wait, well, what? maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. <laughs> Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I... Look, if I give you this... Let me sleep. Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Uh, give Colin a drink. He seems like a good dude, Colin. Thanks, Big B. Ew. So he loves Snow White. That's an interesting development, actually. I'm almost certain we're gonna meet her at some point. Just because she was introduced. Uh-oh. FBI, open up! I'm coming, I'm coming. Can I help you? Yep, gotta, gotta get spiffy. Big B! Snow. Come with well, me. Well, there goes my answer. I guess I'm meeting her immediately. Snow. Snow. What? What's going on? Sorry, I'm... What is it? What happened? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. That's strange. She acted kind of weird. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. Some sort of a conspiracy, perhaps. I'm not sure. I bet you that dude is around the corner. Oh, never mind. Wolf in sheriff's clothing. What is that? Was that a body? Oh no, it's sheriff's clothing. <clears throat> Does that mean? Does that mean someone was in my apartment? Grab jacket. Cause that's who I am, right? I'm the sheriff. My God. No. You knew this girl? Is she's not a Mundy, right? What's a Mundy? Who was she? The I thought girl that I, I saved knew earlier. Everyone in Fable Town. A working girl. A working girl. A working girl. I don't. I mean, I'm a working. That's not oh. the same kind of working girl I meant. There's something in her mouth. The woodsman. He attacked her, I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just... Give me a second. It's just... Uh... Who found her? So... Who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then... I came to get you right away. No one else was with you? 
No. So is Grimble the sheriff? Did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. Okay, yeah, this is... The story's already picking up pretty fast. Aww. Uh, there's something in her mouth, though. Hold on, I wanna... I'll, I'll examine everything besides the mouth for now. What did this to her? What could do something like that? Either something very sharp, or something with magic attached to it. Uh... She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. Yeah, no, I figured that much. Alright, here goes nothing. Let's see what this is. What is it? I'm very curious. Ew. It's a ribbon. With a There's ring? Some kind of symbol here. Hmm. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. I feel really bad for her. Also, I gave her 50 something bucks. <laughs> oh, that's horrible though, man. It really is. I'm I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. <sighs> um what what do you want to do next? Um can we investigate more? We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Good idea. Like for one, can I actually click? Uh, I don't think I could. I'm not gonna talk to her yet. I'm gonna look around first. What's in here? There was that blood trail that I want to go look at. Nobody there. In a little bit. Okay. Oh, look at her head. That's pretty messed up. We'll take a look at this before we put hands on it, though, first. We don't want to contaminate the evidence. Should I? Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. What about that dude that we saw coming in? What is this thing? No signs that it's been here long. What is it, a napkin though? Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Unless something jumped through here and cut his pants. Just guessing, though. Just some loose trash. Yeah, see, there's blood here. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, and left the trail I found earlier. Yeah, I agree. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Okay. So I guess there's nothing else? I'm glad I can still walk fast. Can I examine inside a little bit? Where are you going? Are we done? Uh, not yet. Okay, no. so I guess... No, not yet. Let's talk to her, though. With the evidence. What are you doing? <laughs> Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. That's kind of weird, though. He's... We should move her before anyone shows up. We'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. 
Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Mm. How did this happen? Someone brought her here. Why that her? much is obvious. Someone brought her in from the outside. That makes sense. There's no signs of a struggle. But how do you know? Well, there's the trail for one. There's blood on the f blood trail. I found a trail of blood. I saw it, but what is it? It doesn't mean someone definitely brought it from outside, right? We'll see. Hmm. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so uh, we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I don't I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. Yeah, okay this then. Is part of the job. Do what you I need guess to do then. It's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. I just <laughs> hope he doesn't blow it out of proportion. I just don't want him interfering. Involving the public this early on would probably Crane's not damage the investigation right a little bit. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. So is the business office the... The investigative area? The long goodbye? What, are you blind? What, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice I work being here. a sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm, that didn't feel very genuine. <laughs> <laughs> I love his sarcasm. Fucker. Yeah, I don't care. You don't bother me. There's a flying ship. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so simply stumbled upon this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't <laughs> change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted uh, to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. No one's to blame. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Agreed. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Uh... Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, Crap. I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Let's just stay quiet. Bluebeard came to mind. It's his M.O. It's shaky, but... Don't be absurd. Bluebeard is out of the country as we speak. So don't even think about accusing him of such a treacherous affair. It honestly all could... All you're operating off of is ancient history. We're all in much more trouble than I imagined. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly and quietly. I should have said it was been. thing we need is all of Fable Town knowing there's a killer amongst us. Snow. Yes? Sir? <laughs> Call Vivian right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Massage? Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? Don't He's in bother. ass. I get it. Can't do anything right. Do your job, Sheriff. I don't like that guy. We'll find someone who can. Uh, okay, yeah, I'll just stay quiet for this one. Definitely not getting involved. I'm not trying to get you fired. You just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... <laughs> he doesn't... I don't, I don't think he cares. Smoke away. Uh, so what's the wine about? Wine to a massage? Probably a gift. The weird part of that is that he's actually being nice to someone. I know I bought that damn bottle. What is that? Is... is he gone? Yes, thankfully. 
Oh, there's the bottle. Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? This early? <laughs> Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Then don't you think it probably belongs to him? Maybe. I mean, if you guys aren't going to need it anymore, I'll take it over here. That thing looks so How are you creepy. Today, Mr. Big B? Uh I'm Bye, fine. Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Buffkin, get the books. Which books? The ones with all the fables in it. Not sure that was any more specific. <laughs> Bring the first three. Be back in a few minutes. So I'm assuming he's the librarian. He knows the ones I'm talking about. There's bound to be information on her here. Somewhere. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. Is that the I really have to mirror? get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. I think that's the mirror. Ooh, look, it's Aladdin's lamp. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. So he's been freed. Yes, that's right. That'd be funny if he pops right. out. Yes. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I'm clearly supposed to mess with that, so with the mirror, so I'm gonna save that for Indeed. last. I have the record right here. Tarot cards. Jack brought them back from Appalachia. Who knows where they were before then, or what he did to get them. Well, I wonder if he's gonna meet the. I, uh, I can look through it again and get back. To the settlers right. in uh, Appalachia. In all forms. From Vault Seventy Six. Okay. I'll be sure to let him know. Let's go ahead and go around this way. Maybe we'll find something else to interact with. Or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe we have to go straight to the, uh... Yeah, I think we do. Alright. Mirror, mirror on the wall it is. Okay, then. Hey, Magic Mirror. I got a question. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel but have some respect for our history and rules. <sighs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able, tell me all about this fable. See, was that so hard? For him, it looked like about it. two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. There's no need for that. Fine. Of which Is fable the green do goblin? you wish to know? Um... I don't know her name. I don't know her name. Not yet, anyway. Well, until you do, I can't help you. Well, that's not fun. Okay, so let's uh, let's start off with Woodsman. Show me the Woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The Woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? <laughs> I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Uh, okay then. Buffkin? Show me Buffkin. Hey, put down the bottle and get to work. <laughs> Still looking. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Oh, it's the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Maybe he'll show something else. Yeah, okay, now he's throwing up. Okay. Show me Snow White. Isn't she? Not much of a request. She's in this very room. Okay, there's nothing Nobody here. right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. So, we definitely need to find that girl's name. Well, here comes... Uh... What's his name again? I can't even remember. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Hopefully. Thank you. Oh, 
Buffkin, I think his name is. Okay, well, there's no point of interacting with the magic mirror until we discover the girl's name. That is a gigantic arm. Let's go ahead and walk faster, actually. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. <laughs> okay, well, that's Beauty and the Beast. Oh, there's the woodsman right there. Oh, God. My buddy. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Okay, that doesn't help. That's me. There's me. Not a good day. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be me. It is. What about the seven dwarves? Yeah, dwarves. Less said about that, the better. A uh, little red riding hood. Hmm. I think her name was Red. She didn't make it out. Aw. Beauty. Beauty. Happier days. The beast. And her man. Beast. Funny. Hey, there goes our friends. Alan and his brothers. The king? I've seen this before. Isn't that on the ring? This symbol on the man's clothes. It's the same as the rings. Could be her father or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Okay. Well, I kind of want to continue seeing everything else here. Oh, there goes, uh... I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. And then the Wish toad. toad would like his a bit more. Toad. Nice hat. That doesn't tell me much. Ichabod <laughs> Scared shitless. What's that? The Headless oh, Horseman? His finest moment. Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. Well, maybe it's time that changed. Maybe. Did I already look at everything? I think I did. So let's continue over here. We should be able to get her name now. Um, what is this? Oh, great. What? I can't read any of this shit. I can help. Yeah, thanks. Can he read we this? We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the good china of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, there's nothing else here. Oh, there's a ring. Okay, yeah, so let's check this out. This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alairo? <laughs> I'll go look it up. Alairo. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? Donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was uh, his daughter, Faith. Oh, gross. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. That's disturbing a little bit, the first half Should of the story. I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Oh. And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. 
That's sad. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than Her we... name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. Yeah, that would be the right thing to do. You think he did it? Uh... We, need, we have to no, notify him. I don't. But we need to let him know about his wife. He is a suspect, though, to be fair. But at bare minimum, we need to start with the whole notification side. But now we have her name, so let's see if we can do something with the magic mirror on the wall. Oh, 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 oh